Hello. So today I'm just going to show you how to do like an easy top using um, pre-made fabrics. So usually to find those I just go on Google and um, type in what I'm looking for. But you'll understand what I mean after I show you I guess. So basically I'm just going to do a shirt today basically when I do that. I start off with a small pointy brush and I kind of figure out what I want the shirt to look like and just make an outline. So um, generally I do a lot of off shoulder tops because I like them and honestly they're pretty easy to do. And I mean, you don't exactly have to have drawing skills to do this. You just have to kind of imagine the shape of what you're doing. This is how I do it. There are other ways to do it, I guess. But um, on all of my drawings, I kind of mostly draw in everything if you guys haven't noticed yet. So this is pretty rough on what I want. Um, I keep this in one separate layer and then I make another layer underneath it and then just use my color picker to get the skin tone so I can kind of get rid of this strap right here. You can start off with an already uh, sleeveless, well you can actually start off with a naked avatar that way you don't have to worry about things like that. But I like to include a before picture for my things and I don't know I feel awkward just showing the naked avatar. I'm weird like that. And then just erase this. Usually I will have um, a, a transparent background to make sure my, um, like I can add in a different background later. And the way I do this is with this brush thing right here. I forgot what it's called. quick selection tool. There are several ways you can do it. I just select it and then I press delete on my keyboard. That way I can get rid of the white background and go back over whatever I need to later. This way I can also add in props and things without it getting in the way. Yep. Now that the background's gone, it's gonna be a lot neater. So, I'm just gonna do the skin here too. I usually like to use a bigger brush for this that's a little bit softer just to get it done quicker I mean obviously this is all dependent on I guess what kind of top you're going for I mean it's, I think it's the easiest to do t-shirts because you don't really have to do a lot of erasing or anything like that but I like to be complicated All of this I can go back over later to fix kind of the body and the shading and everything. So um, I'm not sure how many of you follow me on Instagram. But a while ago I posted a tip 
about how it's a lot easier if you use pre-made um, fabrics or fabric pattern pictures um, to make shirts and pants and things like that. It's just quicker and you don't really have to worry about coloring all of this in and then shading exactly where the right parts go and it also gives your edit a kind of a neater look to it. So in a layer underneath the line art, I'm going to, sorry, going to add in. So I'm just going to go to file and then place. Um, so my... Unfortunately, my tutorials are mostly only helpful for Photoshop, but you can actually use, I guess, the advice on other things. I know I get asked a lot to um, do an edit on a phone app, but my phone is really crappy, so I can't really download anything to make edits with, and it would just look like a mess. I use Photoshop because that's what I'm most comfortable with. Anyways, I have this folder, and as you can see, I can keep all, I keep all my transparency. Here. Those are just the props, like flowers and um, different things that I use for my edits. But over here, I have all kinds of different patterns, like this tie dye and this fur. And I'm just gonna look through this and find one so I can just kind of demonstrate how I use different patterns to make my clothing. I've used this one before. I think maybe in a in one of my tutorials. So I'm gonna use this one because I like fruit. So when you make this in a layer underneath the line art, you can kind of get a good feel on where you're placing your picture. Um, and then you just right click, place. And then what I do here, first I rasterize the layer, and then I turn down the opacity for the layer. So I can kind of see what's underneath the picture I placed and get a more accurate look for my shirt. And then using a pretty big brush, I just go back and I erase it and then I do it just enough to conform my shirt into my line art that I had created previously. That way I get exactly the style I want. And all it took was placing the pattern and drawing the line. And then, in this case, if you left part of the lines as the default for what your character came with, you could just um, erase it to that. I guess it. I guess it makes more sense when you actually watch me do it because I don't really know what I'm saying. <laughs> I like to go in and just kind of fix the details but since the line art in the first stage was kind of rough you would have to go back over that anyways and then turn the opacity up just to see what I did it looks okay so I go back to the line art as you can see and it kind of just erase the rough parts, make it a little bit better. Now that I have the shirt in the shape I want it in, I can just kind of freely erase and fix as I need to. You have to really be careful with the stuff you leave out because Sometimes you can miss things when you don't zoom into it. And then I just go back and realign everything.
it doesn't have to be perfect, especially if it's your first time doing something like this. And I'm kind of just doing it quickly, so mine is not going to be anything close to perfect by all means. But I'm just trying to show you guys the basics on how to make like a top on Photoshop. Um, so, one thing about doing this, though, is that sometimes your top can look really flat, even though there's a pattern. So, what I do to kind of make up for that is I do some very light shading underneath the line art. And then I use a very, very soft brush for that so I just do a little bit of this just to give it a little bit of depth this is really more of an extra step to kind of, I guess, give your shirt a more 3D effect. You just have to make sure you don't go in too dark. And then I'm going to go back and fix the all the colored in spaces and um, I can just go back and reline all of this line art that I messed up with and that's really all it takes to create a top from a pre-done pattern so I mean you can use the same technique just a two, if you don't want to use a pattern from Google or whatever, all you have to do is color in your outline with a solid color and do the same kind of shading. So it's really up to you. This is just to give a little bit more complexity to your edits. Um, and that's really it. Thank you for watching.